here I am, I'm Abby and welcome to my YouTube channel. I can't believe I'm actually here filming this. Boy has it been a long journey but we're here now and that's all that matters. So this is my first video and I want to share with you why I'm here, how I'm here and yeah so enjoy. I started a Christian Instagram account about a month ago in February to share God's love. I love doing that, what I want to do forever and God really blessed me with people I really didn't think anything would happen to like oh, I'll just make it now and use it in the future when I go on like mission trips and stuff like that but I'm very close to like 200 followers already and that blows my mind so thank you god for that one here i am sent to me isaiah 6 8 is a verse that i absolutely love and what my youtube channel is inspired around what my social medias my christian social medias are inspired around because i feel called to go and called to share god's love and share it with people out there all around the world so YouTube is a great way to do that because so many people are on there and you can literally reach anyone from around the world just from sitting in your home and I think that's really cool what well, Isaiah says here I am send me I think it's just so powerful it's like God I give you my all I surrender my all to you take me where you want me to go and after a lot of running away from God, after a lot of doubting that this is right, I'm finally here committing and following what God has asked me and called me to do and I'm filming a YouTube video for a Christian channel. One of my friends did a, led a social media break for a week. It's like, oh, go on then, I'll do it, I'll do it. God was like, telling me to do it, it kept popping up everywhere, it's like okay I'm gonna do a one week of a social media break. I deleted um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest and a, a game that I was obsessed with playing, I'd play it all the time, um, Disney Magic Kingdoms, I can't even remember what it's called now because I haven't re-downloaded it, but Magic Kingdoms and I deleted these apps for a week because I wanted to focus on God instead of scrolling through my phone unintentionally. I wanted to intentionally use my time and seek God, read his word, pray with him, spend every living second with God in that week. The social media break was only meant to be for one week but I was having so much fun diving into this book like literally you can barely read the words I've like drawn in it so much it's so personal now but I I stayed off social media for a bit longer I only re-downloaded the apps last night filming this on Good Friday Happy Easter thank you God for sending your only son to die for us Amen um, <laughs> So yeah, it's Good Friday and I was on a social media break for 10 days instead of, well I think some, most people did it for 5 days, so, but God really spoke to me so much through this book. I can't run or hide from these fears anymore, I'm breaking them down, I'm running into God's arms and finding my freedom I brought this book um, I don't know now a couple of months ago because I found Sadie I was like wow she's a great role model of who a Christian girl and how to run after God and everything like that so I brought it because I would recently found new kind of freedom and a break from anxiety um, so I was like I want more I need more 
already thinking that I had freedom already but this book showed me how I don't have freedom yet and I feel like this is this is it. I've wanted to make a YouTube channel for as long as I can remember. It's always, I've loved cameras, I've loved videos. I got a prophecy in front of the whole of my church about how God wants to give me a platform and the time will come. And then the day before that, I had this urge to start a YouTube channel. And this was about, uh, May 2017 and I was scared, too scared so I just pushed it to the back of my mind, I was like no, <laughs> that's wrong, like I, I can't do that, I can't do that, I don't know anything and then I struggled and suffered and went through a lot of pain the next couple of months of my life, so the end half of 2017 was not good and my focus was not on God at all but that's another story for it later on in another video but from the prophecy I knew that God wanted me to do this like I knew he wanted me to share his love his word on YouTube but I didn't listen and I had honestly forgotten about it until the social media fast when I started reading this book and the first chapter calls it's not that things aren't scary this is in this book when I realized that YouTube is for me and when God revealed the desire in my heart to have a YouTube channel it says are you torn right now because you really want to do something but you're afraid ask yourself the question Abby is this fear talking or is this you talking? And I sat there and I was like, I'm not afraid of anything. It's like, my anxiety isn't with me anymore. Like, what else am I scared about? And then God was like, well, have you got a YouTube channel? I was like, huh, no, no, I don't. So this book has, like, has taught me that to get rid of my fear fully, to walk into his to walk into my freedom that God has given is waiting for me I need to start a YouTube channel and just go for it I just need to take a leap of faith jump into the unknown trust that God will catch me trust that God will provide for me because I'm just going to follow him because he's provided for me before so he will provide for me again the other good thing about this book, Live Fearless, A Call to Power, Passion and Purpose by Sadie Robertson, is that she literally has so many Bible verses in here, so many quotes from the Bible and everything, it's just perfect. So I can, in my new Bible that I got for my 18th birthday, I, it's a journaling one, so I have like so much in it already. There's one verse, here it is, Psalm 25 is a verse that's really stuck out to me from her book to encourage me to make a YouTube channel. So this is Psalm 25 and this is a Polaroid picture of one of the times I tried to make a YouTube channel and failed because God wasn't with me. I wasn't, well he was with me, because <laughs> he's always with me, it's just I wasn't with God, that is the difference. You need to be with God in order for you to see him, feel him, hear from him, you know? So this has just told me that I need to spread his love and that he will guard me and that he is my protection and that if God is saying yes, then I will say yes too. It wasn't only just this book that has been speaking to me. God has been speaking to me in many other ways about this YouTube channel in the past 10 days. He, at church, um, one of the youth leaders was talking about faith and how having faith means that you take action. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Because I'm, 
I was like, oh, I trust God. I trust God. Trust is like the most important thing in a relationship. But do I really, if I, did I trust God if I didn't follow him straight away? I don't know. But now I know that I need to step out in my faith, prove that I trust God, prove that I have this faith in him and just go for it because do you know what I'm not I'm not scared of man anymore I realized that I have been scared of man and I've been scared of what people will say about me what people would think if people will laugh but who cares as long as it brings happiness joy and peace to other people it brings other people to God then ugh, that's all I want. That's all I want. This is God's channel more than it is mine. I'm doing this for him, for his glory. So whatever comes out of it is his. It is not mine. I'm not the person in the spotlight. It is God. I am bringing the light, his light, down and to other people. That is the intention of this. This is the beginning of my Christian YouTube channel and the start of an amazing journey. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're excited about what amazing things God is going to do on this channel. I will post videos when I feel like God is calling me to post them. So I don't know a schedule. I'm just going to see what happens and see where he leads me. So yeah. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll be praying that you are happy and that God comes to you and that you draw closer to God and that he answers your prayers. So yeah, thank you for coming and I'll see you again soon.